Hey guys, it's me Arlene, Delicious Delights. Welcome to my channel. Today I want to talk about two fragrances that are quite similar to each other, except one is very inexpensive and the other one's very expensive. So the two fragrances that I will be talking about are Hemi Mori EDT and Mikalef Ilang. So I've talked about this one a lot on my channel in the past, maybe not recently, but you know, way back when, when I first started my channel, I absolutely fell in love with this one. It's still one of my favorite vanilla floral gourmand perfumes, um, but it's quite expensive. This one here, Hane Mori EDT, well, they say that this is a dupe of this. <laughs> a lot of people have said that. And I'll let you guys know what I think. So let's first talk about Hane Mori. This one, let me just spray it here. This was released in 1996. Some notes in this one are strawberry, sandalwood, almond tree, ylang, blackberry, blueberry, blackcurrant. There's a lot of fruity notes in here. And the opening to me smells like a creamy, sweet, delicious vanilla. And it honestly reminds me of like a New York cheesecake with a little bit of strawberry sauce on top. It also reminds me of a creamy milkshake as well. Um, and it's like a berry flavored milkshake. So it's absolutely delicious right in the beginning. I will say that the first spray of the Hane Mori, you do get like a few seconds of an alcohol kind of scent, but that uh, disappears uh, very quickly. And as the Hane Mori, Hane Mori fragrance dries down, I get more of the strawberry fruity notes coming out and it starts reminding me of like a strawberry whipped cream with some extra vanilla. It's delicious, you guys. <laughs> it really is an underrated perfume that I don't really hear um, many people talk about. Um, the downside with this Hane Mori though is that sometimes I do get a whiff of like a plasticky vanilla or like an artificial smelling vanilla. It's not so bad that it puts me off or anything like that, but I do kind of detect it sometimes where the vanilla, for the most part, stays as beautiful creamy vanilla fruit uh, milkshake cheesecake kind of scent. But sometimes, I have to dry down here, sometimes it can come off a little bit like artificial smelling. So that's just a very, um, you know, I'm kind of nitpicking here. <laughs> as a whole, I do think this, this fragrance is absolutely gorgeous. It's a gourmand, sweet, sugary, delicious, desserty, cakey kind of scent that you can wear every day. It's versatile, it's quite soft and fluffy. It lasts quite well and um, I'm not sure if this is discontinued, you guys. I have seen it online still at discount web shops for like around 30 euros or so. So if you guys know any more information on that, whether it's discontinued, let me know. But yeah, Hene Mori is beautiful. <laughs> Except for that one part where I said it was a little bit artificial smelling sometimes, not all the time. I guess it depends on, you know, maybe it depends on the chemistry or the weather or where you wear it and how you wear it. Um, but yeah, so that's the Hene Mori. Now let's talk about the Mikalef Ilang, which, you know, every time I wear this, I am pretty mesmerized by how beautiful this bottle looks. <laughs> so it has like all this nice detail here with the jewels in the front, none in the back, just a stripe there, but this is just gorgeous. Every time I hold it on my hand, I feel like super luxurious. Every time my mom comes to visit, I always spray her room well, our guest room with this, and it kind of just reminds me of my mom now every time um, she comes to visit, and it's a really nice thing. So this one was released in 2012, many, many years later. Uh, some notes in this one are vanilla, ilang, coconut, peach, lychee, sandalwood, and mint. There's more, there are, there are more notes. Those are just some of them. A lot of other floral notes in here too. 
I will say I'm not a huge fan of this like plastic ring sticking out of the the neck of the bottle here that's kind of annoying to me also in here there you can see a plastic kind of cap in the inside there which I'm not really I don't know <laughs> I think they could have done a little bit better with the with the, the plastic not showing but that's just uh, that's just me so let's see Ylang by Mikalef. Oh, <laughs> it's absolutely stunning. So what I get in the opening is like a tropical mixed fruit salad of like creamy mango, pineapple, papaya, lychee, peach. You get like this whole big fruit bowl. And um, I also get a creamy vanilla in here and also the ylang, of course. And I just love it, you guys. It is so warm, cozy, tropical. It makes me feel fantastic whenever I wear this. It just has this certain, it does something to me when I wear this. <laughs> so yeah, uh, in the opening, it smells like this creamy vanilla fruit salad with a bunch of different kind of fruits. And um, in the mid, as this fragrance dries down, I still get that fruit salad and vanilla thing going on. Um, but this beautiful mint note comes out and just makes it even fresh. It makes it fresher and more lively. And I really like that mint kick that it gives to the fruit salad. Just making it feel more alive, if you know what I mean. <laughs> so in the way dry down of Ilang, that uh, floral, floral, note, floral note of Ylang kind of just dies down a little and also the fruitiness dies down and what I'm left with is this gorgeous creamy vanilla and coconut concoction that is just yummy and to die for. It just literally smells like the most delicious dessert that you can have. <laughs> So overall, it's a creamy vanilla gourmand scent. I absolutely love how they use the ylang flower in here. It's just, it gives it more depth. It makes it more interesting and adds, also adds a little bit of smokiness in here. In this version, it does not come off at any point plastically, plasticky or, or artificial smelling or chemical smelling. No, it doesn't do that at all. And it just feels more luxurious. It feels, it has this kind of expensive kind of vibe going on. When I wear this, I just feel like a million bucks, to be honest. So, which do I prefer between the Hane Mori or the Ilang? Well, there's such a huge, huge price difference between these two. Um, if price isn't an issue, uh, I would definitely go for this one because it just feels like they've used better uh, quality ingredients. It just feels more luxurious. It feels more expensive. And of course, you're paying for the bottle and the uh, handcrafted artwork here with the Swarovski crystals in the front. So yeah, you're paying for this whole mood, I think, when you are buying this. But the scent of the Hane Mori alone it smells fantastic you guys and for like you know 30 35 euros you can't really go wrong with this so i would say that they're very similar to each other the ilang of course smells like it's it, it just feels like it gives me this certain feeling that the Hanimori mori doesn't give but I, of course it depends on your chemistry but i like both you guys yeah, I think that the uh, the Mikalef is worth it to spend the money, but you know, that's your opinion. But if you want something that smells quite similar to it, that also smells fantastic, then there's nothing wrong with this Hane Mori. It's beautiful. It's absolutely beautiful. So I like both. I prefer this, but you know, if I didn't have this, then I wouldn't mind having this. <laughs> That's pretty much what it comes down to. So anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I would love to know if you've tried any of these fragrances and if you have, which do you prefer? There's another one fragrance that smells kind of similar to these both. Uh, it's called a Casimir Chopard. 
by the house of Chopard, Casimir. And my mom owns that one. And every time I go home to visit, uh, I wear that. So I didn't talk about it today, but I will say that I really like the way that one smells too. However, it just does not last at all. Maybe like half an hour on me. <laughs> of course, you can keep on reapplying and spraying uh, as much as you want because it is an, an inexpensive perfume. But yeah, I'd love to know what you guys think about these fragrances and which do you prefer. And thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.